Hey guys, welcome to Archland. So we're going over a couple of must uh, quality of life uh, updates. Uh, I've been playing for more than a month. So, so far I have uh, and also been playing like what? Three or more times a day. So again, these quality of life changes are a must because this will, you know, this will at least help the players move along especially those who are free to play especially for those who are beginning so right off the bat i'm gonna be um indicating or gonna be pointing out the energy system so our energy as you all know doesn't grow in capacity even if we do have our team leveled up like for example here I'm at, I'm at 50 if i go to 51 it doesn't go up it's capped at it's it has a hard cap at 120 so what do we do to augment this we usually play multiple times a day at least two or in my case i play at least three one in the morning one in the afternoon to one in the evening to maximize energy and to at least have uh, you know um, a fair amount of chance to catch up because I played late and uh, I'm actually playing catching up as well so I, I, I was late for two weeks playing this game so right now I'm at 50 I'm catching up some I've seen are, are at level 58 56 so that high already so again um, the things that they could uh, also address is buying stamina. So the stamina right now is this uh, when you buy stamina, it's the same currency as when we are summoning or let's say for the store. So this is actually, hopefully this is one of the proposed changes that I'm saying. I'm not saying that uh, this is the only thing that they should do. So probably change the stamina uh, once you buy. And uh, if you purchase this, the next stamina would be at 60. So 40, 60. So it's a big chunk that is taken off from you. That's 100 if you refill twice. So I guess one is good enough. A second one, I'm not sure if you should do it. Um, just veer off from this currency, the diamond currency, because we need that for our summons. Also, guys, the one that I have been, um, if they cannot... Um, increase the cap might as well um, increase or decrease the amount spent in each of the challenges like for example this one is 10 the others might be might be 20 or even 30 so this one is is 20 when you go to let's go to um, mana vortex so mana vortex is 30 so it's it's only a few you know it's it's only a few sweeps then you're out of energy. That is my point. So increase capacity or lower cost. Increase the, the capacity for this one or lower cost. Okay, and um, more or less this is the number one thing that they should change or they should improve on, because again this will you know give the players the ability to be more flexible. In terms of clearing more stages because at this point you cannot even clear all the stages sometimes you run out of energy sometimes you don't have time to play only could play once um so and that is my point so again the energy issue should be addressed okay it 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 really should be addressed and the next one is relating to your pvp you have battle arena which is your um not your real-time pvp and your real-time PV pvp is in your night brawl okay both of these systems especially for night brawl when when you click on this one the rank mode more or less it's going to be pairing you with an opponent and usually the pairings are sometimes are very far off that it's usually an automatic lose for you. Let's say, for example, it's um, based on my experience, most of the pairings that I've gotten was um, five or up. The lowest that I've gotten here is um, usually um, 
higher than me by three le- by four levels or five. Or sometimes the pairing goes the opposite direction, which is favorable to you. But again, the pairing system in PvP, the matching system should be fixed, should be more or less one one level higher or one level lower only. Um, could be two probably uh, to make it more challenging. But again, it should not have a plus minus of uh, two levels. So one, two, up or one, two, down. This will highly improve um, the players who are, you know, who have it, you know, at least you have a chance to win instead of, for example, being matched with a very high opponent, then usually you would really win despite, you know, be it being manual, it, you're really outpowered by, you know, out outpowered by the higher level of your opponent. Okay, so that is the second one. Um, okay, so the other one. Let's go back to Secret Realm. So I tried this one. I tried this one, this stage. This is 8. And I've challenged this already. I am at level 50, as you've seen. My, my heroes are at 51. But I can't seem to clear this stage. This is really hard. Even if you're at the max level, you sometimes can't clear. It it's not only applicable for Endless Dream, Secret Realm, it actually applies to other content that they have. So if they're suggesting you're at level four to five to fifty, it should be an automatic clear. So that is what I'm expecting. But apparently at 50, you're still struggling. I'm, I'm most of my heroes are at 51 and they're still struggling. Even if I manual it. Uh, sometimes I just get one hit. I have maximized a lot of my stats, even runes, even, even, yeah, if you can see here, I just want to show you guys, um, what I have. So the runes, not really maximized, but they're of high level already. My main, uh, characters or heroes, they're not a pushover, so... They're nearly maxed. They're usually beyond 2,000, 2,200, 2,180. And more or less, they can be counted on to clear stages. But again and again, we still fail these stages even we are at the max already. So that is actually the third one. Stages should be matched with suggested level, with their suggested level. Because again, if they suggest and if they players cannot still clear then what's what's the point of suggesting you know a range or a a range or a range of levels so let's say 45 to 50 so what's the use of that so that is the other thing that i want them to improve the other one is also the daily login so for the daily login um these rewards are good but i would like to see more of Let's say, for example, the key to heaven. The key to heaven, um, if they put here at least, you know, at least uh, one per week, it wouldn't hurt, right? I don't think it would hurt them. Uh, instead of putting out diamonds, put out keys to heaven. So they could just replace this because 30 diamonds in a month is not even significant, right? We could, we could farm these, so probably replace these two keys to heaven. And I'm sure the player base will be, you know, looking forward to log in every day for a month. I'm sure of that. The, the, the four free summons is not going to, you know, affect everybody. Or it's, it's not going to affect the developers, I'm sure. But it will really, really um, encourage the player base to, you know, to play every day, to log in every day. And also a very obvious, um, what do you call this? Obvious uh, change that you need to do is a counter for the summons you've done. Especially when the rate up, there is a pity system. You need to have a summon counter for your equipment for your heroes please guys we need this one 
let's say 10 out of 60 30 out of 60 i'm actually doing this manually in my phone and i'm listing them down but again the developers can really put this here it's a very small minor change to your ui and hopefully you guys um have gotten all five so just to recap energy um improvement energy improvement in the matching system in pvp either the regular pvp or the real-time pvp so uh matching should not exceed one or two levels uh, up or down to give uh, you guys a chance to win the match um stages um that stage levels should be accurate enough that when you're maxed out at a certain stage let's say 45 to 50 when you're 50 you can actually clear the stage without problem because you're already maxed out at 50 right now we're having a problem clearing stages even if we're maxed out and the uh, daily login rewards is the fourth and this one is the fifth so sub encounter for equipment and for hero so if i missed something and if you guys want to add on what needs to improve please comment down on the comment section so that we can discuss and hopefully the devs can hear us out with our suggestions but before we go i'd like to divert your um divert you guys to the english patch so for those who haven't you know installed the game and are planning to install um the english patch um instructions are here i'll put a link in the description and also there is an update down below on the english patch this update is um last updated on january 13 but i'll share a, a second link for uh the last update which was uh january 29 so at least um the skills are already so again i'll share the patch um, i'll share the link for the patch then i'll share the link for the updated patch for january 29 and um as you can see i'll show you an example um this patch it has better translations actually let's go to skills here traits let's just use one of the traits so it's 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 more it's more understandable uh than the previous one um you can actually you don't you almost don't need the the translation in the website the translation here is fantastic i'm sure you guys will be able to understand it so it's clear it's very precise and it's uh accurate I don't, I, I don't see a problem with uh, this one. So even if you click on the link, um, the explanation is there as well. So that is it, guys. So that is for the quality of life improvements and also the update on the English patch. So again, if you're still here, please consider subscribing, put a like to this video, and probably share it to somebody you know who needs the shortcuts for the patch so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here